Well, the noise was enormous. I turned the lights on and I see the big piece of ice, all the um, uh, insulation, like it looked like, you know, I, I started to panic. I said, what, what, what's happening? This is the chunk of ice that came crashing through the roof of this Mississauga home early this morning. The homeowner was sleeping just two meters away. It happened at 6.30. Carmela Kakovo's husband, Tony, had just left for work. Her younger son, Michael, was also home asleep. The ice came like a bomb through the ceiling of Carmela's walk-in closet, and she is still very shaken. I was lucky that it probably could have hit my, my head or, you know, or if I was in the closet grabbing clothes. It was scary, very scary. Yes, exactly. The only logical explanation is that the ice, which the family says weighed in at five pounds, fell out of the air from a passing plane. Jerry Johnson, the contractor who has been hired to do the repairs, agrees. And he says this is the third time he has seen this happen. I don't see any seagulls carrying, carrying <laughs> chunks of ice, so obviously it's either off a plane or they're releasing something out of their bathrooms in their planes. Something's going to be done about it because somebody's going to get killed. You yeah. know? It's only what? a matter of time before somebody gets hurt. <laughs> Michael Kakavo called the airport to try to find out more about the aircraft or the airline, but he says he got the runaround. Maybe the plane wasn't clean properly, like some yeah. sort of accountability because yeah. it's a life on the line, you know, so. Yeah. In fact, it's Transport Canada that investigates debris falling from planes, but the agency told me today it hasn't received any information about this incident, but takes the issue very seriously. In a statement, they said, if it is determined that the ice came from an aircraft, the department will try to identify the carrier to ensure the problem is rectified. According to flight path data available online, an Air Canada flight was returning to Pearson from Vegas at that time and passed over the Kakovo's home. A spokesperson for Air Canada said that plane received regular maintenance after landing and there were no signs of any issues that would create the situation. This is the actual size of the hole. This kind of thing actually happens more often than you might think. City News has done numerous stories on ice falling from planes, and yes, sometimes it is human waste that accidentally gets released from a plane's toilet. And while the Kakovos are glad that at least they didn't have to contend with that, they are mostly just grateful that no one was hurt. Very, very, very lucky today. Yeah. Very lucky. Today, yeah. We... You're going to go buy a lottery ticket? Uh, with her, yes. <laughs> we go together. We're going to go together to buy a lottery ticket. Maybe okay. not only one, more than one. <laughs> yeah. The insurance adjuster told the Kakavos that this repair is going to cost about $20,000 and that the insurance company would be doing an investigation of their own to try to recoup some of that money. In Mississauga, I'm Pam Siegel, City News.